now that we're inside the cab, and before we operate the machine, let's take a moment to adjust the armrest and the seat for the operator's comfort. And always remember to fasten your seatbelt. So now with the cab controls, we're going to start on the left side and we're going to work our way around. To begin with, this is the steering lock lever. Next is a secondary engine shutdown switch. The next switch is the hazard lights. Then we have the location of the headlights. To the left is the high low beam switch. Further to the left, this switch works in conjunction with the headlights to dim the monitor for nighttime operation. To the right of the headlights, you have your front and rear wipers and sprayers. Moving further to the right, you have your parking brake. Below that, you will have your climate control and your controls for accessing the monitor. And a little further down, you're gonna have your ignition switch and cigarette lighter. And then you have your rear view monitor with a dimming switch. Now that we've completed the dash, it's time to move on to the console. The left side can be adjusted with this lever. And you're also gonna have the advanced joystick steering lever. The L switch controls the direction, forward, reverse. The top two switches shift up and shift down. And the bottom switch controls the horn. Moving to the right hand console, we have the lever for adjustment. Moving up, this is the bucket control lever and these two switches are for the load meter. Next, we have the boom lever with the hold and kick down switch. And off to the right, you have the lock for your work equipment. As we continue working our way to the right, we're gonna to come to the variable traction control dial. This is used to set the balance between rim pull and hydraulics. To the right gives more priority to rim pull. Dialing it to the left provides more priority to the hydraulics. This first switch allows you either to choose power or economy mode. The second switch is the transmission select switch, which allows the operator to toggle between manual and automatic mode. The third switch is for the electronically controlled suspension system, which ties an accumulator to the boom hydraulics, which provides the operator with a smoother ride. The fourth switch is the torque converter lockup switch. The fifth switch is the remote positioner, which will allow you to set your upper and lower kickouts for the boom and adjust your bucket level position. And last, we have the RPM set switch. Off to the right of the console, you will find your auxiliary jack and the power source. And over your right shoulder is the location of your heated seat switch. Now that we've completed the consoles, we're gonna work our way to the top. The first switch is the rear window defroster. Then you have your radio, followed by your forward work lamps, and rear facing work lamps. This last switch is your exterior cab light for mounting and dismounting the loader at night. Now let's cover the pedals. To the left, we have our left hand brake, also known as a modulation clutch pedal. This works in conjunction with the variable traction control dial. And to the right, you will have your service brake and the accelerator pedal. One more thing I wanna point out is the location of the interior and exterior cab filter. Okay, so that covers machine controls. If you have any questions or you need any additional information, please refer to the operation and maintenance manual found inside the cab. Thank you for your interest in Komatsu.